Welcome back to the Lowdown on Physics. This is screencast number three in a series looking at VCE's uh, Unit 4 Physics, Interactions of Light and Matter. Today we'll be looking at wide spectrum light sources. It's been known for hundreds of years that uh, objects of pretty much any temperature will emit uh, EM radiation, so electromagnetic radiation will be given off. Um, it's not till they sort of get significant temperatures that we can actually start to see it as light. Now it's the vibrating atoms that are causing these EM waves to be given off. The effect that temperature has is that at low temperatures the motion is quite slow, so the result is generally um, really low energy electromagnetic radiation which is not going to be visible. As temperatures increase, there's greater acceleration within the atoms and their vibrations, and so they emit higher energy radiation. So that's where we get this glow, this visible light starting to be given off as it heats up. So you see with an incandescent light bulb, the uh, tungsten filament is probably around the 3000 degree uh, temperature mark and so they're giving off quite a range of EM radiation. The bulk of it is actually in the infrared so it's given off as heat so it's not super efficient in terms of giving off light but you can see a large portion is in the visible light region and even some UV radiation given off. You see with the Sun we're now at about 6000 degrees and so we're getting higher energy radiation that's being emitted and the temperature, um, the, the peak for this temperature in that curve lies at about 500 um, nanometers which is right in the visible light spectrum. So it's, it's giving um, light right across the visible light region and so we get this white light source. Now if we compare that with a candle you'll find that candles are much cooler than the Sun but they're still uh, obviously emitting visible light. So let's um, look a little bit closer at the colors. When you light a candle, even in this diagram up here, we've got blue, we've sort of got this whitey, yellowy color through to orange and then red. And what that does is it gives us an indication of the actual temperature. So sort of around the blue-violet area, it's where it's hottest, and sort of works back through green and then to orange and red where it is a much cooler temperature. So I just want to have a look at um, from here two definitions called incoherent and coherent in terms of light. So incoherent light, um, this is light sources from pretty much most things that are emitting light. Um, you know light bulbs, candles, the sun, the things that we've just talked about. And um, what happens is all the waves come out, um, they're pretty much unsynchronized or they're out of step. So they don't sort of all line up and this is generally due to large numbers of different frequencies of waves. So we kind of represented that here with the sort of squiggles attached to the lights. Um, so if we want to contrast that with um, what we call a coherent light source, which is generally we're talking about a laser, you'll notice that all the crests and troughs are lining up. So um, basically what we're doing is we're emitting the same frequency at exactly the same time and the result is all these light waves that are in sync. Same crest, same trough, they all line up. Um, so these definitions are pretty much sort of foundational to the rest of the work that we're going to do looking at light. 